it, it takes that concept of tacos or total POS, and it takes it one step further so that for those products that you actually are getting some repeat purchases, you can manipulate that taco number. Now, instead of just thinking with trying to be under 10%, you know that you probably have a little bit more play if you have a really good repeat percent for the lifetime value of the product. And then you know that, okay, yeah, I can be a little bit more competitive with these big industries out there that are pushing some kind of subscription product.